Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we have some very exciting TikTok videos and I can't wait to get into it so let's just do it. Continue watching to see how I do a surface tongue piercing. Well, to begin with, you don't. Oh, and we missed the dot completely. Just went straight on the other side of it. Oh, and um, this bar, not that we should do this, but this bar certainly, certainly isn't long enough for a tongue. There is no swell room on that whatsoever. Even if these piercings were viable, that is never going to work on anyone. No matter what piercing that was, no matter where on the body that went, that jewelry does not accommodate for the swelling and especially the swelling on a tongue. See, you, these... Ugh, I hate it. This is why I don't understand why some piercers even put videos up because you do realize there are people like me, for instance, who are just gonna come here and critique your every move. It's best to just not put the videos up. I mean, in the sense that if you want to keep piercing ever, um, it's probably best to not put the videos up because people know that you are doing these piercings and you're doing them so wrong and you're not even following basic piercing practices to begin with, let alone like all the other people who I'm sure on TikTok have just shred them to pieces anyway. I just don't understand the purpose of uploading these videos, honestly. It's just, it's just gonna get you in strife. People aren't gonna wanna come and see you and get pierced by you because they're gonna go, well, that was wrong and I'm not gonna go to someone who does those piercings or does a piercing completely wrong full stop. Just be best for you not to upload the videos, honestly. My mum won't help me, so TikTok, please help me. It hurts so much, there's no back and it's stuck and keeps bleeding. There's no back. Something like that, it would be best to go to the doctor um, you may have to have that surgically removed. I can't 100% tell what's going on there. You probably don't want to just yank it out. I can't tell how embedded it is. A doctor might be able to do some numbing and like do small incisions to cut it out. I could, I would say that might be a way to get it out if it's like completely stuck in there. But most likely you're going to have to go to a doctor to get that removed because um, piercers shouldn't be just yanking stuff out. And you may think that you could just go to a piercer and you may go to a piercer and they might try and yank it out, but that should be left for a doctor. As piercers, not medical professionals, we should not be causing any more harm. Like it may seem like when we provide a piercing, it may be causing harm, but it's more like controlled harm. We're doing the procedure in order for you to have a piercing. You may see like it's harming you in the sense that it is painful but everything is under procedure and is controlled so it's not like we're purposely causing harm if we were to rip that out we don't know what's to happen next so that should be left for a medical professional okay. Be -boo -ba. oh no We hate to see it. We hate to see a piercing gun and we hate even more so to see it go through cartilage. This poor person is um, probably suffering um, or they've gone through struggle and suffer after having this done because it just wouldn't have healed. It just would have been hell, hell on earth. It looks quite scarred. That is brutal. Well, I mean, you don't clean jewelry with salty water. I'm sure you can find some alcohol, not hand sanitizer, but like isopropyl alcohol or an alcohol wipe. You can clean it off with that. Salty water isn't gonna do anything. Yes, you use saline on your actual piercings to clean them, sterile saline, but that is for your body's healing. That is not for cleaning jewelry. So that's why you need to use something for killing bacteria on your jewelry. You want your jewelry to be as clean and disinfected as possible by the time you put it inside of you. You obviously won't get it sterilized by just cleaning it, but you don't need it sterilized if your piercing is healed. Oh, this piercing doesn't look happy. Oh. Oh no. It's already lost that and you can see. 
already lost the hole, but then has also just sort of like shoved it through wherever. Cause did you see how thin the skin was around that whole area? But all that thin skin, it looks like with this blood now coming out that this person just popped the jewelry through wherever on the skin. This is not good for the piercing. The jewelry really shouldn't have been changed at this point. It needed to stay. The piercing shirt, even your mom approves. Oh, I hate this. No. <laughs> no one. What? No, this is awful. The jewelry in these nips is hideous. I hate it. Just do the real thing. Don't be walking. Like, yuck, it just looks tacky. I hate it. Walking around with like a little thing hanging out of a shirt. Embarrass. This is just embarrassing. I don't like it. This is what happens when you buy a $15 ear piercing gun off eBay. Oh, I remember seeing those exact ones in high school. Oh, and just got your Woolies. Chelsea, we know you work at Woolies and why are you showing the world that you work at Woolies and that you would be so foolish? Woolies are going to be so disappointed in you. I can never shop at Woolies again. Why would you do this? This is silly. And it didn't even work. Chelsea. See, Chelsea? Any girl who has her whole ear pierced, they're gonna tell you they have like three infections, that one is growing a keloid, that they had to get one re-pierced six times. You could be like, oh, did, how do you like your industrial? And they're like, oh my God, I love it. I feel so confident. I couldn't live without it. I have not slept on my left side in eight years, but I love it. Perfect. Honestly, having piercings though is such a conversation starter. People will be like, oh my God. And they'll tell you all about theirs before they even know like I am a piercer as well. They'll be like, oh, this, this, this. And I'm like, okay, okay, yeah. They'll tell me their whole like piercing life story. Um, and in the meantime, I'm like judging it a lot harder than someone who isn't a piercer would because I'm like, oh, this is where you went wrong. You went wrong here and here and here. And a lot of the time I won't tell them I'm a piercer, but I'll explain things that they should have done differently or like things that went wrong and they won't believe it. And they'll be like, oh no, but like, see, like I just like don't heal very well and my body just rejects piercings. And like, I always have trouble with this. Like I can never have this. And I'm like, okay, yep, you know best. I know nothing. And I just love to sit there and pretend that I have no idea what I'm talking about. And they always just take it as like uninformed advice, which is even more hilarious because like then like sometime later, they'll eventually find out I'm a piercer. And they're like, oh, oh, so you're a piercer. Oh my God, can I ask you a question about this, this and this? And I'm like, no, 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 no. You can't ask me any questions now because you didn't listen to me the first time. <laughs> what? It's the I can't get out. It's stuck to your what? <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Oh God. <laughs> All right, go. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> I can't, I can't get out. <laughs> <laughs> Is it put it on, please help me. Hilarious. Um, it's hilarious because you just shouldn't have a tongue piercing if you've got braces. That is so unlikely to happen though. Like you've got to have a pretty big gap, I feel like. And I'm sorry, but your orthodontist will be like, do not have any mouth piercings while you have braces. Also, every dentist and orthodontist in the world is always like, you are spending this much money on your teeth. Do not put any piercings anywhere ever. I know I was told that a million times because I had braces and um, uh, yeah, I mean, I can't talk. I definitely know it's not a good idea and I definitely know that it's definitely not a good idea to have a tongue piercing while you have braces. Just, just don't. Don't do it. Hilarious though. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please give me a like down below and subscribe if you're new here and I will be back very soon. Bye.